Okay, we're back to let's play Mega Man in base slash Rockman and Forte for the Game Boy Advance slash Super Nintendo. And we're about to face the boss in King Fortress. Uh, level 2. Kinda. So I'm equipping this, use less energy when I use special weapons. I'm going to use the remote mine. And here we go. Okay, this boss has four parts to hit. I want to keep them on the screen. When that little eye, uh, the, the main thing is the eye in the middle because he can't, that's the only part that can hit you when you're down here. Well, those explosions can hit you too, but only if you're standing right underneath them. Okay, I destroyed that. Now there's three other parts. One of them you don't have to destroy. One of them is the treads on the bottom, the uh, canister at the back, and the head. You have to wait for the head to open up like that, when the screen would raise up if you're underneath to damage it. The treads uh, can only hurt you by running into you. And the back part can throw out those little things that can steal your bolts. So just try to stay away from it, and so the treads do not have to be destroyed, only the back part, the top part, and the cannon on the front. At points like this you could actually uh, equip the use less energy, I mean uh, restore energy when not moving. And it vanished. The problem with that is because it's because it went off screen too far. Now I'm going to see if I can actually use this and just to be safe Yeah, I'm cheating, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, that wasn't the thing I wanted to use. Auto. That's it. See, Mega Man slowly recovers health like this. All I have to destroy now is the back part of it. And it can't hurt me anymore because I destroyed the top part. Um, let's see, can I hit this? Yeah, I can hit the back with magic card. However, you can only hurt it when it's open. And now I'm out of magic card. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Okay, I'm out of both magic card and remote mine. Ah, uh, copy vision might work. Only if I know it's opening. But that's a difficult boss. One of the hardest in the game, but guess what? King 2 is not over. I'm only halfway through this thing. Now those things up there, I believe they 
probably will be useful if I can kill him. Yeah, since I got the energy balancer. I could just stand around and restore health. And I will do that at one point, maybe. You don't know how to get those? Well, if you do, good, but if you don't, shoot a magic card up. It'll grab it and bring it back to you. It's mostly how you get things that are out of reach. Okay, there was probably something over there. Let's see. I think you can just wait here and have these enemies respawn. Okay, don't do that, or you will end up to die. And dying is bad. In most games, it's bad. In this game, it's also it's bad too. So, well, I guess all my weapons are full because the energy balancer's not working. But how many lives do I have? One. Hmm. During King's Fortress, you can't go back to the shop unless you... Unless you, uh, don't mind starting the whole level pretty much over again. Okay, that's how you get that life. That is useless, that enemy. And we're gonna save stats. Under three, because I really don't want to have to go through any of this crap again. So here's where you can farm for hot if you really need it. Leave me alone. There we go. Now where they're spawning you can't see because it's not on the screen because the Game Boy Advance can't show where they're spawning. Until we get here. Basically enemies are spawning off screen. And you wait burner to blow up that. We get up here. And I don't know what's above me. But I doubt it's anything too bad. Okay. King 2 has another boss. This is going to take a while. It's one of these, the auto scrolling, and you have to jump from platform to platform. Now, the distance isn't too great, but you don't know where all the platforms are going to stop. You have to do this for a while before King 2 even shows up. And that happens. And you have to go back here. So let's just load my game. King 2 also has multiple parts. Well, whatever this boss is, has multiple parts. It's got that thing inside it that I shot at. It's also got a kin on the front. And I think it has another one. It's also got those fists that can come out of those arm type things it's got. That can destroy platforms. Like that. And if you destroy a platform, you're pretty much going to miss the uh, platform. And it's really hard to make the next one. I'll see you next part where I'll try to defeat this boss, but I'm not making any promises. At least not yet. Bye for now.